Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video doing the ECM WF 42 day slash six weeks for care for UK and for the rest of Ireland uh, as well. So uh, this is going to take us to the end of August, I think. I shall get on it for you in a second. Just say that the first video today was our 6 a.m. upload. Uh, we've also got the weekend forecast, and if that wasn't enough, a 10 to 14 day up. Coming up for you as well. So it's going to be a busy old day at Gasworthy's today. Please like, share, subscribe on the vids. And thank you so much, everybody. Uh, for the email, thank you so much to ECM INT for supplying us with the charts as well, by the way. Thank you so much to them. And um, i just say that the wider European outlook using this uh, external model is always on a Tuesday. So that's when you have to see the wider European outlook. Uh, then... Right, let's do it then, shall we? We're going to start off with the week one mean sea level pressure anomaly going from the 25th of July to the 1st of August. The coming week we'll have, or next week I suppose, we'll have a ridge of high pressure just out to our west with some low pressure up to the north. And uh, jet stream will be coming through a little bit like that. So for normal areas, there's a, bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, influence from the jet stream from some low pressure. Meanwhile, further south, pressure does look relatively high there. 500 millibar height anomaly for uh, next week looks like that with below average heights to the north, above average heights to the south. Uh, ridging into the southwest, the jet stream is sort of flat and westy a little bit like that too. So we've got a, we've got a bit of dry weather there, uh, especially for more southern and western areas. Though not a heat wave, the uh, wind of course is coming in off the Atlantic with that with that pattern, as opposed to sort of Spain and North Africa. Temperature anomalies for next week look a little bit cooler than average, just to our north and northwest, and a little bit warmer than average, just to our south and southeast. Certainly not as hot in the weekend as uh, as this week just gone has been and um, precipitation anomalies looking like that largely dry over normal in most areas over far north of scotland does actually look just that little bit wetter right week two will be the first of the 8th of august this is how we're looking with below average heights again to the north but it's also to the east and south of the UK, rather strange looking uh, anomaly. The jet stream appears to be doing something a little bit like that. Uh, so let's have a look at 500 millibar height on because the mean sea level pressure anomaly is rather strange. That's how the 500 millibar heights look for week two, with below average heights to the north, above average heights to the south and southwest, and income the winds from off the Atlantic. So uh, definite influences from the jet stream there for more northern parts of the country. The week two temperature anomaly is a little bit cooler than average just to our far north, a little bit warmer than average just to our south and southeast with near normal temperature anomalies uh, elsewhere. And the precipitation anomaly for week two, first week of August looks like that, well, on the wetter side to the far north of the country, most areas are average a bit on the drier than average side. But I think it could be a little bit more showery at the very least. Right, week three will be the 8th to 15th of August. Oh, we see some higher pressure beginning to appear in the second week of August. Some uh, higher pressure begins to re-emerge. Small area of higher pressure close to the UK and Ireland. The 500 millibar heights and only showing uh, high pressure also uh, re-emerging above average heights. So a little dry weather in with that, you would have thought. The temperature anomaly starting to become a bit warmer, especially so for England and Wales. Still a little bit on the cool side though, just to our north. So Scotland and Northern Ireland looking a little bit cooler. Uh, England and Wales looking a little bit um, warmer though, or quite, quite warm there. And uh, with high pressure dominating, also dry too. So yes, we see uh, a drive and average week. So that could be like summer returning there in the second week of August. Week four will be the 14th to 2nd of August. That's how we look. Uh, again, quite a strange sort of anomaly. There's some low pressure up here. Uh, not sure what's going on uh, with all of this low pressure seemingly around here. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly. Again, that looks quite mysterious there. So let's just put in uh, a couple of question marks, shall we? What is going on? Let's have a look at the temperature. What's going on? What's going on? I'm so sorry, everybody. Uh, right, um, this, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I couldn't help myself. Uh, the week four <laughs> temperature anomaly 
looks like that. Uh, so, yes, it's a bit on the cooler side to our north, a little bit on the warmer side just to ourselves. I'm so sorry, we get ourselves back in control. A little bit on the warmer side just to ourselves. So, it's a little bit mysterious, it's, but uh, it looks like temperatures still holding up anyway. And then, uh, oops, my table's falling apart. Um, <laughs> um, week four, precipitation lobby largely on the drier an average side, to be honest. So um, that could be like a warmish and driest week as well. Week five will be the 22nd of uh, August 29th. By the way, it's going to, get, going to get us into September. Uh, surprised about that. I didn't think we're going to set, get into September with this update, but it looks like we are. Um, anyway, let's not get ahead of us. So I've got week five to you first. So this is between 22nd of August 29th. Um, so again, a lot of low pressure to the south going on down here. Maybe a bit of a hint of a Scandi high up here, but it is a very weak signal for Northern Europe. The 500 millibar heights anomaly hints a little bit of Northern blocking in the Norwegian Sea. Otherwise, again, very, very weak signals going on there. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, the temperature only week five, last week of August, a bit cooler than average to our north, still rather on the warm side though, uh, for England and Wales anyway. And the precipitation anomaly, uh, it's a very weak seal, but might get a little bit wetter just to our north and west. And then finally go through to week six, which will be the 29th of August, 5th of September. And that's how it looks. Generally, just lower pressure again uh, across most parts of uh, Europe there. The 500 millibar height anomaly. Looking like that. All very mysterious, isn't it, really? Very, very mysterious. Let's put in three question marks. Three question marks. Why not? What's the temperature anomaly doing? Let's have a look at that. So rather on the warm side still, especially so for England and Wales. And then lastly, the precipitation anomaly for week six. Looks like that. So really normal. And maybe it's being slightly on the wet side. There are a few little splodges of green there. If you squint at the, um, <laughs> if you squint at the screen hard enough, you can probably make out a few little splodges there of green, which is slightly above average range. So it might be a little bit of a showery start. To September, we'll have to wait. So, I know a lot of you are waiting for a cool, wet September, and I know why that will be the case, but it's a long way off. So, let's just wait and see about that. All right, we've done then. Wow, wow, wow. What do you make of that then, everyone? There's no sign of a return to extreme heat. I think that's the first thing to get on the table. There's no sign of a return to very excessively hot conditions here. Just as so August will be a cooler month compared to, um, compared to July, uh, you know. Uh, but probably still above average. Probably still on the warm and average side. But nowhere near as extreme as the temperature uh, spikes in, in August compared to September. If that's right, because this is a snapshot, what Molly's showing uh, could look completely different next week. You know, so, so it's only, um, only a pinch of salt and that required. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, you know, a uh, bit of a mix August. Best of yourself. Probably coolest and wettest in the north. And uh, an all rather sort of averagey type thing going on. Right, well, that's it. I'm so sorry, you thing. Is that a thing? I don't know. Um, that's it, then. Anyway, uh, we'll do it all over again next Saturday. And uh, then we'll get further on into September, of course. Right, so uh, we're going to be back later on with Weekend Forecast and a 10 to 14 days. So come back for that, then. Oh, I don't know, really. But for this week's EC 42 days, slash, six weeks, we'll go back to one hour. And for the last year, 